I'm Tenzin, and uh, when I was 11 years old, I escaped from Tibet with my elder brother. What I had uh, been told was that I was going to the local town. It was never clear to me that I would go on a, a testing journey uh, as the one that documentary in the book tells. When I was making documentaries, I found this inspiring story about refugees, mostly children, climbing over the Himalayas to escape from Chinese oppression and to try and find a bit of freedom and a, and, and a life outside Tibet. Uh, life in Tibet uh, at the time when I was growing up was um, poverty stricken and uh, a lot of harsh treatment by the authorities and uh, people would be uh, mistreated, people would even be robbed. And that's what, exactly what happened. The communist government robbed the uh, rural population. Well, Pasang and Tenzin faced terrible hardships on the journey. They, uh, they were imprisoned, they were tortured by Chinese police. Um, they suffered frostbite, they suffered snow blindness. Snow blindness was traumatic because uh, it hampered and it uh, hindered my uh, ability to walk effectively, to travel effectively, and to, uh, to perhaps feed myself effectively and it hampered the uh, whole uh, team, the whole uh, escape group. In the end, uh, they still did not get permission to stay in India as refugees until the intervention by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. I found out that I was safe um, for the very uh, finalization of the journey when I actually arrived in uh, Dharamsala in India and uh, was informed that, that His Holiness uh, the Dalai Lama had given orders to his officers to issue a permanent uh, papers for us both. So the Dalai Lama not only um, uh, played an important part in the book, but he's, uh, he's also uh, contributed to it as well. Escape from Tibet gives people a voice who aren't usually heard, which are young refugees in this world. <laughs>